we've been struggling on how to introduce this topic. Basically, it, it's just a mask, just right? Mask. Yeah. But it's probably the most high-tech piece of technology you're going to have on your face all year. It's the Pure Me Air face mask. Let's find out what it's about. Wait, oh, what? Wait. What? Oh, no way. Hello. Pure box as always there it is not what I expected no it's not I've seen another facial mask protective mask and it was chunkier than this one here we know for sure that this thing is advertised as being 80 grams which uh, if you're trying to think about what 80 grams is equivalent to it's about 16 nickels and if you can't imagine what that's like reach into your pocket and try it out because yeah all those people that have 16 <laughs> nickels in their pocket <laughs> Lucky you guys. I'm gonna try it on. This part kind of looks weird, this little gap right here, but I guess, does it form a seal? Is it closing things? Yeah, I think it is fully sealed. Like this spongy thing going on here. Yeah. It's ensuring it folds over. Right. This is one of those things where there's a lot of claims about how uh, how protective this mask is, but I don't think we really have the ability to test it out in that capacity. What we can do is speak to how good the seal is. And if there's a good tight seal on there, we can probably ensure that nothing's gonna get through unless it's going through the actual filter itself. There is a button, yeah, there's two buttons. But nothing's changed. Is there supposed to be a light? There you go, there you go. Ooh, and I can feel it glowing. There you uh, go. The twin turbine has turned on. So it has three levels of turbine. Oh, I can have, I can feel the cold air blowing into my face. It's really strange. Because normally masks, they heat up. And it gets really damp and moist. Here, I can just feel this cold air blowing in constantly. So it's blowing air in through here and out through here. Uh -huh. And actually, if you don't mind, uh, can you wear your glasses? So again, this is, I guess, testing how good the seal is. If, if there was any kind of space up there, then the air would go up and his glasses would fog. Oh. They're fogging. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Problem solved. Also, it looks like you're not allowed to laugh while, while wearing the mask because it feels like there's a gap there. There is a little bit of a gap, but so what I'm realizing is because of the air that's blowing in, uh -huh. it's also blowing out around the sides. This is something that very expensive respirators achieve. It's called positive pressure. So even if there's a gap in the seals, there's no air coming into the mask. It's only blowing it out. Nice. I like positive pressure though. It's, it reminds me of exactly what I think my parents thought they were doing for me, <laughs> telling me how to achieve in school and everything in my life. It was a little bit of that positive pressure. I think all masks should have this function. Yeah, the like whole masks around the ears, the dual you know, strap. this thing pulling in your, on your ears all the day, doesn't feel good. But with this mask, yeah, I don't know, it feels really comfortable. And yeah. The fact that it's light, I'm not going to offer you to put it on. I don't want to. Even though... And here's probably the coolest feature of this mask. Let's turn this off. Technically, you could put this on after I did. All you need to do is press this button. You see that little light that turns on there? That disinfects the mask while you're not wearing it. So you can put it on the table, leave it for five minutes, and boom, anyone else can wear it. On the Pure Me Air website, they offer us a multitude of claims about the different levels of protection. Uh, this thing protects against air pollution, wildfire smoke, pollen, mold, dust, seasonal allergies, you name it, except for uh, maybe a virus. I think we're led to believe that it actually does protect against that, but I don't know, maybe for litigious reasons, they're not allowed to write this. There's also three distinct levels of protection, and that comes in with a HEPA filter. It has these two HEPA filters, and you can switch them out. And these go from anywhere between 80 to 99.9% .9 protection. It's not silent. There is a soft hum as, this, uh, as the engine's going. Uh, and that's because there's twin turbine engine here, like something that we might see on an airplane. Mm -hmm. Do I understand that correctly? 
And you can turn it up. So it's got three levels. This is first one. Second. Third. <laughs> and this is pretty loud. Yeah. But according to their website, I mean, we can't test this. They say 50 decibels of noise, which is, which is like a conversation. You know, this sounds like wind blowing outside or... So it's Rain just enough to compete with the normal windows. conversation if you have this thing going on. Yeah, it's definitely going to compete. <laughs> nice. So I think one of the great things about this product is they talk about how lightweight it is, how much easier it is to breathe with this highly technical mask. And so we thought we'd go out there and give it the old tech I want test to see just how useful and how practical this mask is on an everyday basis. One of the benefits of the Pure Me Air is that it's so lightweight. In fact, it's really its form and function which is its greatest selling point. I've seen on their website and on their Kickstarter page that they're showing people exercising, running on the treadmill, jumping rope, boxing, all while wearing the mask. And I know that a lot of the backers have been asking the same question. So I decided to come out here and give it a try. Well, where to start? I'm a little bit out of breath, and I don't know if that's just because I'm out of shape, or it's the mask. I don't, I don't think that the mask kept me from breathing. I, I was able to continue with my exercise. It was just a little limited. It definitely felt like a, my breathing was constrained. Um, but I could still do all the exercise I normally would. The other thing is that, like the jostling, the running up and down, I definitely felt it, but it never came loose. It moved a little bit with me, but I never lost the mask. So that's really good. The most difficult part though, for me, was talking. And I don't know if that's because I may have this extremely large, sexy nose or the beard here, but the mask continued to slip up and down as I was talking. So I just learned to talk like this a lot with my mouth barely open. One last thing I wanna say is that when I compare this to a regular fabric mask, um, it's night and day difference. The biggest difference for me is that when I would wear a more conventional mask, it was getting wet, it was getting drenched. And that was just me walking down the streets, you know, breathing heavy. I don't have this problem here. And I think it's because of the airflow, the one-way airflow, it's con there's no moisture which is collecting, at least not too much. So that's definitely one big plus about wearing a mask like this. Along with that, we're also gonna do a battery life test. There are claims that it goes between six to eight hours, and now we're gonna go out there and see exactly how long the battery lasts. According to Pure Me, the charge will last between six and eight hours. Let's test it out so you know for sure. Picks of the production team can be found on their first campaign on Kickstart. Or I mean, Kickstart Tech. On Kickstarter, but they're called Kickstart Tech. Where? where what did the this hell Kickstart is? Tech? I, I have no idea what Kickstart Tech is, but uh, they have a campaign on there, and these guys look really young. Uh, they look like they're more to be found at the food court at a mall rather than on the production room floor. But of this so, engineering whatever. campaign, but they seem to know what they're doing. And, I mean, that first campaign, it did have its fair share of issues. If you look through the pictures, a lot of them do look photoshopped. Which seems bizarre, when they had the working mask and they were showing it in the video, we have it right here in front of us. Like, why go to the efforts of photoshopping a fake mask onto your face? I'm guessing, you know, with the campaign that strong the first time, and if they deliver on their promises to their current backers, this one probably will go even better. Yeah especially since we reviewed it as well. Yeah. Toot to my own horn. <laughs> Someone wrote, quote, I do get a perfect seal even when speaking, moving, etc. Uh, average European sized head, face. But this, if you head face is larger, 
it may not work for you, e.g. see some YouTube videos with people who have larger faces, <laughs> dash, and in the end, <laughs> the seal is one of the most important things, period, end quote. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> Will you deform the filter if you breathe too hard? Did it deform? I think you have to go longer. Yeah. <laughs> Just like five minutes yeah. of me breathing. Until he passes out. Um, I mean, it's bent slightly, Dude, but I'm totally guessing... you totally deformed it. <laughs> I deformed it. <laughs> Look. Well, I don't know. I think we turned these off, but... I mean, it's a slight indentation where you can see that he's caused... Maybe that's... Pressure from breathing? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't But I don't form. think it doesn't look it doesn't like matter. it's not working anymore. No. It still covers the entire surface area of that vent. If anything, it's got a more snug fit. You've got it tugging <laughs> it now. So, how much is this mask going to set you back? So, it's launched on Indiegogo and it'll set you back $59 at the start. Later on, it'll go up to $69. But the awesome thing is they're delivering in July. I mean, the previous backers were pretty upset with their previous campaign that they were a bit late with shipping, but hopefully, you know, they learned their lesson from the first one and they can deliver on their promises this time. It's surprising. It's lighter than I thought it would be from the pictures. It's pretty soft. I mean, the airtight seal still isn't quite there yet, but hopefully, you know, the fans has that solved. But I can say that, like, from the looks of it, it looks interesting. It it looks a little bit awkward the where, where it sits just above the chin and how it comes up over the bridge of the nose and also just the fan the noise it comes off of that thing again if it's in a public place if it's already somewhere noisy i don't think it's going to be a problem but if you're looking to not draw any attention this may not be the mask for you so if you like this mask we've got some great news for you we're giving away a pure me air to one lucky subscriber all you gotta do is like this video, subscribe to our channel, and leave us a comment below with where you're most wanting to use your Pure Me Air. So tell us what you guys think. Uh, would you be ordering a Pure Me Air mask? Would you be wearing any kind of electric mask? Like, subscribe, do all those things that every YouTuber asks you to do. But not for some altruistic whatever reason, because we honestly feel good about it. You know, I get that little notification, Ooh, one more person watched your video, one more person liked yeah. it. Yeah, feels good. So until, until next time. time. This is Tech I Want. Bye-bye.